welcome back to our channel guys and if you're new here we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on week 20 of our European tour. This week we continue our journey throughout Albania and uh, show you incredible places like this. We hope you enjoy it. Morning guys. Morning. So today we have come to Palamo Castle. I think it's also known as Ali Pasha Castle. Um, it's a cool little place. It was it was actually an island once upon a time and you could only access it by boat. But now they built a stone bridge going over. So we're gonna have a walk up and see what this is about. It looks lovely from the road. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for So I think this is the third castle we've seen now since we've been in Albania um, And for those of you that didn't know there's actually 158 castles here Quite a lot of castles All different, some better than others This one does look really good so this is the entrance to the castle here. It's 300 lek a person to get in for the adults. The children are free. So everything is signposted, really well signposted. Um, down that way you have stairs to the terrace. In that door there you have the officer's room. Through there is the courtyard. In that one lady Pasha's room. And then in this one here would have been the kitchen. I've actually just read that the surrounding walls are between 3.2 and 3.5 meters thick. It must have took them forever to build, but it certainly wouldn't have been going anywhere. Now, as we go down these stairs, this is where the prison would have been. Very dark. We've got to use the torches from our phone. Got a doorway, it was built for short people. Yeah, you, you're not going to have to duck. I need a thought, just scary. Oh, she's close, she is close. Get me a thought, she's scary. It's wet in here. Oh, this is spooky. And I believe that the actual prisoners would have been locked up inside this area here. You can't see it too well because there's no lighting. And then the guards just patrolled around these corridors here. Imagine how many people would have walked out into this courtyard throughout the years. This here is where the guards would have sat with their guns on the lookout, making sure there's no escapees. Also making sure that there's no bandits coming. I could sit in here with a gun all day, just looking out. Perfect job. And now we're in the castle kitchen. But it doesn't look like there's much food going on here today. No gyros from here. <laughs> now these must be the coolest set of stairs I've ever seen. This takes you up to the roof terrace. Yes, it's really hard to show you inside where there's no light in. It's quite dark and I don't think you're gonna see much on camera. So we'll show you a bit more of the outside. Currently up on the roof terrace. The views are just lovely. The water's so blue. Down there, that's Palamo Harbour, I believe it is. Um, and it's actually one of the main harbours of ancient times also known as Panorama Bay. You can see why. This just shows you just how thick these walls were. really thick 
and then the parking is just down there I think the best thing about being in the car is always the temperature difference. I don't know if you've noticed by the sweat of my head, but it's bloody hot out there at the minute. Um, but in here, it's lovely. It's a bit like what our house was like at home. Solid stone walls, and it just keeps it so much cooler. We only wanted a five or ten minute ride because he stopped off at a restaurant, um, told us to pull over, and he was getting out. Either that, or we done something to offend him. He didn't like Richie's driving, maybe. <laughs> so now we are headed to. We need to go to the supermarket today, um, and we are going to a town. But I think we're going to go in there tomorrow because the weather is scorching. As much as I love the sun, I don't really like walking around in it, so I think we're gonna um, like chill out for this afternoon and then we'll head in in the, in the morning somewhere and have a little look around the town. Um, but I don't know where the park was. I think we parked up, hopefully trying to park up around a river somewhere. So we'll see what that's like. to get some supermarket stuff um, and across the road over to the little market um, and the lady that was selling the fruit and veg jumps over to next door into the nail bar. <laughs> lek so that works out at like 10 pound <laughs> which is unbelievable price <laughs> gave her 2000 as a bit of a tip but i oh, just can't get over these prices albania's prices are just unbelievable and they were so so friendly in there the um sister of the lady that done my nails was in there and she speaks really good english um and they were just so so friendly it was such a nice experience to get get my nails done with them girls because they're so friendly so yeah, now I don't know what we're doing. The boys have been in here editing and playing their switches while I've been gone. Don't seem like they've missed me to be fair. So today we have come to the famous Blue Eye of Albania. We don't really know much about it. I do know that there's a big cave or something at the bottom of it, which thingies up the water somehow. Um, but Richie's good with the facts, so I'll let him fill you in with all the facts in a bit. But can't wait to get up there, it's really, really hot. Um, so we're gonna go and cool off. And the trouble is, today the car parks or the road to the car parks closed, so we've had to park a little way off. That's a 20 minute walk. We've got a 20 minute walk, but at least we've got a nice, fresh spring to cool off in when we get there. So now it's getting warmer. I think it's been about 28 the past few days. Um, we're getting up earlier, getting out earlier to do stuff because we're really struggling to find the motivation in this heat to get out and actually do things. So there may be the odd short of vlog coming up. Um, 
but it depends how it goes. Hopefully, if we can do stuff early in the morning and also late at night, then I think we'll uh, we should be able to still see a fair bit. So we've just read online that you're actually not allowed to swim here, so that's a bit disappointing. But they do say that you do see some people jumping in the water, so I know we shouldn't. But if we find a little sneaky spot, so hot we've got to call off. I don't know if you can hear the frogs down there, but they're very, very noisy. So if you've been following us a while, you'll know that our first port of call is a drink. And look at this for a restaurant. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow So we made it. Me like We're currently on the top part. It's the viewing platform looking down so blue and so turquoise look very inviting believe it or not down there we can only see a fraction of it from here but it goes down at least 50 meters there's been divers go down 50 meters and um that's as far as they could get so it's deeper than that but no one knows how how deep exactly once again i've chickened out but laura's straight in there Oh, she's done it. I wish I weren't such a wimp with the cold water. It's a job to keep her out. I'm sure she was half fish in a past life. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I honestly don't know how they do this. Apparently it's 10 degrees at the best of times. My legs are hurting. I've only been in up to my knees. I get out and they're painful. Last time we had it this cold was when we went to the Seven Waterfalls in Wales, because in Brecon Beacons. It's, it is freezing and I can't blame Richie for not getting in this time. Even though it's boiling outside, I'm still not getting in. <laughs> That's it for this week guys we hope you enjoyed it join us next week as we continue our adventure around albania and if you haven't already please make sure you like and subscribe